Hi, it's Greg here, and I'm here with Your Daily Five. So my first chart is Coinbase, and I have to use a little bit of resistance when I talk about this because I'm not comfortable with the overall risk level in the market. But this to me looks like a perfect breakout above prior highs. It ran up nicely. It's having a gentle, not really impulsive pullback. And I like the way it's coming down to my green um, corridor, basically just kind of a root support area that I'd expect to hold. I'd like to see it bounce out of here and head higher. Um, if you see uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum start to move up, I expect that this would follow quite nicely. So it's one of my, um, one of the ways to play the fast moving world of crypto. But I think this, this company has a lot going for it. And I really like the way it based here over the first three or four months and then started to rally and now we're getting our full first pullback. That looks like a nice entry to me. PPO turning up right around zero. I'm going to go to the second stock and I want to talk a little bit about the broader picture here. So I'm tracking a lot of copper names and they're as a group, they keep trying to break out and trying to break out and trying to break out. Um, I've got another copper stock in here a little bit later on. But one of the reasons that I want to talk specifically about that group is the metals in general are starting to set up. And Volley is more of a steel play than a copper play, but they obviously are a big miner and uh, are involved all over. But look at this perfect uh, pull back to the prior um, highs and now it looks like to me it just wants to come down it's settling in here for four to five weeks I'd like to see this breakout kind of pop it's just starting to gain a little bit of relative strength on last week's um, big move down in the markets this stock actually closed higher um, so I, I like it from a couple of different perspectives but I think the most important is that uh, we're starting to see some of the steel companies um, look like they're ready to break out. And we've started to see BHP, um, which is another name that I like, uh, starting to turn higher. So watching these, all of these uh, big mining names, um, they've, they've pulled back roughly since May. Um, this one, it, it topped out in May, but it's been... Um, grinding sideways for three months and then started to pull back in the second half of the year. So I want to see this chart turn up, but in general, I like the whole space. I'm really uh, quite comfortable with with the, um, the need for steel for um, solar infrastructure, as well as the copper for cars. So I'm, I, I've been talking about this play for a while and it hasn't really started to turn up yet. I like the way this is just starting to break the trend line. So it's one of the reasons it made the list for me. My next one is an oil company. This one's a, a Canada US oil company. They're head office in Canada, but they own a refinery and some assets in the US. What I like about the play is they have some big upside coming in terms of um, of uh, profit margins. They had uh, done a deal with uh, ConocoPhillips and that they'll be released out of that deal uh, sometime in 2022. So as this chart starts to uh, break out, I think there's a really big opportunity here. Um, there's also more volume flowing to the US now through line three. And then we've also got um, another one, uh, the Trans Mountain Pipeline that'll go to the West Coast. So I think in general, they're going to start to find improved uh, pricing on, on existing product they sell, as well as having the opportunity to get more to market. So um, I really like the Synovus name. It's, it's a relatively big uh, oil company. It's Canada's second largest and um, with with all of the things going on in the energy uh, space, this one, it has struggled for a while. It really wasn't doing anything back in 2019, um, but really a whole new management team. And I think that's been one of the better um, uh, one of the better changes and hopefully um, we'll see this stock start to accelerate it they again and they have upstream and downstream so they go find it in the field and they also um, uh, refine it and market uh, directly to customers so uh, the this is a um, 
I think the reason I'm hesitating so much here is that as you look across the oil patch, I know oil just pulled back $18. I think the big thing, when I look at this stock, it didn't even wobble. Um, you know, it was, it was a, a move, but not really on the scale that of the 20% pullback you saw in the price of oil. So I like the way it held in here. It's sitting right around its 10-week moving average, a nice place to try and capture it, I think. And if this starts to turn up, I'd like it even more. So another one out of the U.S. is Pioneer Natural Resources, and this one has just been holding a really nice uptrend. It's consolidated for roughly two months here, and it's just started to make higher highs again. So um, the chart is well set up. Again, in this oil and gas space, one of the one of the hard pieces of news to get through to everybody is that um, the pace of shale drilling in the past was very rapid and really you would throw money at it and try to get your money back in a few months and then as soon as you got your money back you'd be drilling more wells and more wells and you got onto this um, treadmill or hamster wheel where you're literally just spinning your wheels because in order to keep growth going you have to go two, three, five, eight, thirteen wells. Um, because the decline rates were so quick in shale. So you were spending a lot of money trying to keep the treadmill going. We're not doing that anymore in the oil patch. Quite frankly, they're, they're conserving cash quite meaningfully. And if you look down here in the bottom, you'll see this was a 50 cent distribution, a dollar fifty, fifty six, and then $3. The, the distributions are um, improving. And as, as we step forward here into 2023, Two, um, one of the big things to watch for, as we kind of slowly push COVID behind us, and where it seems to be difficult to do that, but as we try to push COVID behind us, um, the rate of drilling, there are a lot of people dropped out of the oil patch because there were no jobs, and they just haven't come back. So there's even a labor crunch in there to help stop um, new production growth coming on. So I expect to see higher prices in both oil um, and natural gas maybe a pause here but higher prices next year and as we move through there i think this is a really exciting opportunity so uh, keep that chart in mind i think there's a lot of good things coming there i'm gonna uh, talk about capstone this is a copper stock and what you see here is it just has such a nice smooth ascent all the way through here and now it's been stranded since may and really, May 10th, I think, um, Copper topped out, Freeport McMoran topped out. This stock has held in through thick and thin. Nothing has wavered it. Um, I showed you the price action on Volley where it was kind of tilted down and to the right. When you look at BHP and, and FCX, they've also had more of a pullback. But what I like here is the PPO momentum indicators just starting to turn positive. And this looks to me like it's ready for a breakout to the upside. This is a Canadian name. Um, so they have copper. They also have um, some of the other precious metals. So to me, it looks like a strong area to try and think about. I like um, the mining space here just because broadly, it looks like the charts want to start turning up. Um, and they, they've been hesitant to do so, but if they can kind of get going, that would really help. Okay, um, so I'm not really comfortable with the big broad picture in terms of breadth in the back of the market, which is one of the reasons I took some some charts from areas kind of away from the indexes, the, the NASDAQ indexes and that type of thing. If you'd like more information on um, unique ways to follow the market, for example, my Schnell Strength Index is currently sitting at 35% and has been weakening for a while here. So um, you could head over to gregschnell.com slash explore and check out a free trial. I've also got a, a discount in there um, that would save you about 40% getting it down to 497. So if you're interested, that's less than $10 a week and I think you'll find some pretty unique analysis in there and hopefully a way to uh, capture a little bit more profit. Thanks everybody, bye-bye. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.